Hey guys, good to have you all back. Another day, another project. On my desk is a junk journal. I want to make something for the junk journal. And a windowed envelope. This is a new one. You could also um, have a used one. Yeah. And a, a digital kit. Now go make something. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I am going to transform this very boring envelope into something pretty for your junk journal. Using this journal kit, I'm going to talk about this journal kit a little bit later. Before I talk about this kit, I want to uh, talk a little bit about yesterday's video where I launched my own Christmas kit plus freebie. I need to thank you guys because I had so many lovely comments on it. All of you really loved it. Um, most of you even bought it and even more of you have gotten the freebie. If you don't know what I'm talking about um, and haven't seen my video yesterday, I will link that video at the end of this video. At the end of the video, there are going to be uh, three pictures. Uh, the first picture is going to be of the video of yesterday. Just click on it. And then there's going to be my face in the middle. It's an old picture. And then um, a playlist uh, probably about envelopes. So go check that video out. Uh, if you're still interested in the freebie and the kit, it's on my ko site. And that is all listed below. You can uh, click on the links there and that will bring you to the ko site. Now, let's get back to the project for today and to this beautiful kit. Now back to the project for today. For this project, uh, I want to make a belly band for the junk journal using an envelope. The belly band is going to have a windowed pocket. It's going to have a flip up and a flip open with a secret journal spot. All of this from one envelope? Yes, from one envelope. You need one of these, a windowed envelope. I'll give you some measurements uh, later on. Now for the tools that I'm using, I'm going to use a, a glue. Um, the glue stick art glitter glue. I am going to use some uh, washi uh, tape, some washi tapes. Uh, of course, I'm going to use a paper trimmer and scissors uh, for decorating. I'm probably going to do some inking. I'm not rounding corners today. No, um, I'm using either this baker's twine or some sort of lacy stuff. Some bits and bobs, probably some labels from um, Old Made Awesome. And I have this die cut. Yes, I and I think it goes very well with uh, the theme and the color. So probably this. Maybe some more bits and bobs. I don't know yet. So no fancy smancy stuff. Just uh, glue, paper, envelope. Now let me show you the kit. The kit is from Davidica Designs. Uh, a relatively new designer on Etsy. She has an Etsy shop. It's listed below. She is Dutch. She's a friend of mine. I love her. She is so, so kind. And we have similar taste in design and beautiful papers. Um, the kit is called Dutch Floral Blue, I believe. Something like this. It has, I believe, 18 pages. It's big and very affordable. And I love it. It has all sorts. I'm just going to flip you through it really quickly. And there's some pages in here that I want to use for this project. Big collage with flowers on them. And then this is like some scripty bits. It's old. Probably she has the real one and she scanned it. And then she made this with the floral black background. Another one of these without the flowers but with the frames. And this one is more plain without the flowers and without the flames. I really love this. Then she has some beautiful ephemera pieces like uh, library card pockets. These sort of pages, if I print them, I also print on the back because, you know, you need to fold up, flip up and you're going to see uh, a couple of bits. Again, with this one, a pocket and a coin envelope, I print it on the back. These are, this is a file folder system. I think I want to use this. It's really interesting because you made tabs. Uh, one to the, the left, the middle and the right. And then this one, I want to make some sort of a harmonica thing where you can, well, I'm going to use this for sure. Also print it on the back. Then these, I love that. This is her logo, the Vidica Designs. She is so sweet. Um, labels, tags, you know, we love it. Then these two pages, these are ephemera pieces completely decorated with some number labels and some normal labels. And this is then one that you can decorate yourself. Such a nice trick. Yeah. Again, the pockets and the um, uh, coin envelopes. A large one. Library card pockets. Love these numbers. I'm so going to use this. Then tags and labels again. 
and then these labels i love these labels the only thing is i do not enjoy cutting them out i do love the shape though yeah uh, for my normal paper i'm going to use writing paper yeah and uh some cardstock to use as a base for the um, the card that goes inside of the envelope again i made this from the uh, this is sort of light blue cardstock also use it for the die cut well let's get started now for the envelope i'm going to give you some measurements of this envelope but you also need to take in consideration the size of the journal that is going to be glued in right so this envelope is uh, almost four and a half inches by i believe eight and a half by eight and a half inches but eight and a half is too long for my journal as this is yes if you have an envelope like this that is bigger a bigger one you can use this you just you know you need to cut off a little bit that's okay that's okay as long as it has a window now let's go look for a sort of a neutralish page let's do this one yeah so what i really need to do is measure my envelope i want to have the pocket on the bottom and not on the top that's just how i like it you can also have it on the top no problem instead of really measuring it i am just going to um make a mark where i want to cut it i am not um, putting the envelope all the way to the bottom i'm just leaving the tiniest the tiniest bit and then making a mark on the top uh taking out my paper trimmer and cutting a piece off we're not gonna throw this out no there you go now ladies if you have a very tall journal and you don't have this uh take out a piece of paper um to make the flip out but you know i'll mention that later this is just a, a fantastic piece that you can use to make sort of a flip out thingy yeah right so now of course this is way too way too wide to be a belly band i am going to fold it in half not really in half because that will make it really really small and difficult to fold because of the acetate that is glued behind here if i fold this in the middle completely in the middle it will sort of ruin the window so what i want to do is i'm going to fold it a little bit further than that leaving a bit more room doesn't really matter how wide it is just as as wide as you want it to be yeah i'm gonna do it like so taking out my bone folder now these two parts are sort of equal to each other not really but when we open it up this strip is smaller than this one see but that's okay no problem at all don't throw this piece out because this is going to be the flip up i'm going to use this flip over here let me show you what i'm going to do i'm going to glue this on the inside of this envelope like so have this as the flip up yeah i'm gonna make a pocket don't know yet if this is going to be a pocket or just a flip up and then you're going to flip this open and this is going to be writable paper so sort of a secret journaling spot yeah does that make any sense hopefully it does so what we did was we snipped this off folded this in to the width that you want to want to have it that's all that's it for the measuring for now now we need to do some decorating I want to make a lovely small sort of card in here like a tag uh, but if you take it out i do not want to see this background so i first want to cover this background i have i've just chosen this tag yes you don't have to use this as a tag no use it as paper because you know it's paper so i want to glue this over here as a background see it's a little bit too long i'm gonna snip this off it's a little bit too wide it doesn't need to be perfect guys because you won't even see it as long as the middle part is in there let's see is this too wide no this is perfect see like so this is going to be the background if you want to do some decorating on the background do that in advance yeah that's what i'm gonna do and let's just see 
um, I'm just going to eyeball what you're going to see. I saw this word here, so I know uh, that is going to be visible. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to have a label on. One of these lovely labels. Yeah, I'm just going to have one of these on. These are all from the kit, guys. Uh, let's have a piece of paper that we can glue on. Just some simple decorating, because most of the time you won't e be able to see it. There you go. I am quickly putting it back in and see how it will look. It will look fantastic. There you go. So, we need to glue this whole piece in here. Yeah? Simple. I'm just going to put glue on. Don't use art glitter glue for this because we need to move, maneuver it about. So use uh, wet glue like glue stick or oh, what have you. I'm going to scratch it all the way to the bottom. This is going to be a little bit difficult, guys. But, you know, you'll manage. You'll manage. I'm sure you will. Scratching it in. See? There you go. This is probably the trickiest part. <laughs> yes. Putting this piece in. That is our background. Great. <clears throat> uh, do we need to do something else to the inside? No, that's it for the inside. So now I'm just going to glue this shot. Uh, for that, I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue. Just a small line. Good morning, Art. How have you been? Well, Art is almost empty. I need to either refill it or I... I bought another one of these small bottles. I must say, um, I've had this bottle since April. I refilled it once. Yes, and it wasn't good. I think there's yay much in here. Uh, and I think the last time that I refilled it, it was also filled um, up until this point. So it will last you a long, long time. Uh, but I bought a new one because I don't like it anymore. It's all like smudgy and no, whatever. So I think I want to use a new bottle. See, this is closed up now. Now I'm going to decorate this whole part with beautiful paper. The inside I'm going to uh, sort of cover with paper that you can write on. I'm going to use this page. This is already collaged. I'm going to collage it a little bit more. To cover this uh, piece, I'm going to do it in parts. I need four parts. I need a strip here. Yes, I need a strip here, here and here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to overlap it on this side, on this side and on the bottom. Just going to flip it in because that will leave for a nicer finish. So <clears throat> first I'm going to uh, need a piece like this. I am just roughly going to make some sort of a line. We will lose the sort of rounded corners on here. And it will overlap the pocket a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Also, when we're going to sort of uh, cover all the, the edges, we also don't need to do any inking there. So, win-win situation. I'm going to make the first strip. There you go. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to... Um, Glue a little bit past this fold here and a little bit past here. Yeah. So again, measuring it. You don't need to overlap it for for a lot. Just just a tiny bit. There you go. So I'm gonna glue this here. No inking, love. Mm, no, I don't think I'm going to do any inking on here. Well, I don't know for sure. Maybe maybe somewhere a little bit. But I'm not going to ink all the individual pieces. So, gluing it to the top. I'm not overlapping there because there's an opening there. And that'll be uh, difficult. And there you go. And then I'm going to flip this over. So if we fold it back in, it just leaves a nicer finish. Yeah, and you won't have to worry that the paper will sort of curl up. So now we need a strip here and a strip there. And a strip at the bottom. 
I'm going to have a larger strip. Let's do this one over here. Yeah. I'm going to overlap it. Are we going to overlap it at the bottom? Yeah, we are. We are. We are. So I'm just going to snip here. Are we? Yeah. Because I actually need to make two of these. I need one here and one there. Um, I do not want to, this to match up. So I'm going to do it like so. Needs to be a little bit wider. Just going to do it over there. Let's make the other one as well. Two of these strips. Let's see, I want this one here and I want this one here, right? Yeah. And then we just need one on the bottom. to leave as much as possible of the window of course and there you go so we need to make some snippies so we need to mitre it this up here does need this need to be more slanted I think so and fold it up there yes there you go another piece down and then this one oops go away scissors Or we can flip this up. No worries. There you go. Last piece. Do we have like a scrap piece left? Yes, I want this sort of piece of writing. Yeah. Or oh, that. Is that interesting? Yes. just need to overlap it on the bottom right yeah <clears throat> trying to figure it out as we go along guys yes we already uh, finished this end and this end but not all the way to the bottom so i'm gonna do it like so yep And then flipping this up. Et voila. Ta-da. We covered it. Now, um, before I do the inside, I want to do the flappy thingy. This one. Now, for the flap, I want to make this into a pocket. Right? This is going to be glued in here. Like so. Yeah? So, we need to give, uh, cover this bit and this bit but because this is open i have an idea for that now this strip a strip of paper is almost the exact height well this is a little bit higher but that's okay so i'm going to use this height of paper yeah um and i'm just gonna wrap it around i'm just gonna wrap it around yeah so what i'll do is the following i will use art glitter glue for this i'm going to put glue here yeah, all the way here. Not on this gray area. <laughs> Not on the gray area. Over here. 
here and here yeah and then of course in the middle because it really needs to be stuck down there you go so do not glue on the gray area i am going to glue here and no that's okay so i'm going to line it up on the bottom here lining it up scooching it in that was too slow love it is art glitter glue well, we need to we need to glue we need to ink a little bit because I didn't squish it up all the way to the end. Yeah. Now we need to flip it over. I'm gonna fold it over there, and I'm just gonna. You can use your scissors or a cutter or what have you. I'm just gonna use my ruler and a knife. What you can also do is snip the, the white piece off here. Oh, so smart. I'm going to do that. <laughs> no need for inking. I'm just going to cut it off. There you go. See? And now we're going to do glue this whole bit down. Why are you using art again, lovey? I don't know. It's already to size, so it will be fine. So there you go. We're left with a little piece here. That's okay. We can snip it off if we want to. Great. Now, what we need to remember, this was the flappy. <laughs> the flappy is on the top. You can feel it a little bit. I am going to fold that one again. Folding this flappy, yes. And then we are going to glue this flappy in here. Will we? Yes, yes, we will. We will. I'm gonna use art for this because it really needs to be stuck down. The opening of the pocket is going to be on the left side. Did you see me think? Yeah. Left side. There you go. See? Flippy uppy thingy. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I want to have a small card in here. We're going to do something to it. Fantastic. The flippy flippy. Now I have this die cut. And I thought it might look really nice. Like so. What do you think? I'm thinking yes. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to overlap the, um, the acetate. There you go. He's going to put all sorts of dots of the art glitter glue. Now the problem is, the problem is the following. Um, art will sort of smudge out and if it smudges on the acetate, it will leave a mark. So I'm just going to gently press it on the acetate so that glue will not sort of smudge everywhere doesn't matter if it smudges here because it will dry sort of clear but on the acetate you will see it oh it's so cute it's so cute right it is now i'm gonna leave it uh, dry for just a tiny bit and then we are going to do the inside for the inside i'm using this sort of lined paper this came from a tra traveler's notebook now it will uh, have these sort of holes in them but i have a solution for that as well i'm just going to measure it i'm going to line it up um first i want to have the width there we go yep taking out my paper cutter again Et voila. And then the height. There you go. It's not white paper. It's sort of a ivory manila kind of um, color. And that's why I like to use this paper. I don't want to have it white, white. 
So, there you go. Will it fit? Yeah. Um, it will leave a little bit of uh, white here. So, I am going to do some inking. I'm sorry, I changed my mind. I am going to do some inking on the edges here. And on the top here. Just in case any white is showing. I just want to have the, to have this. Uh, well, that's not going to show, is it? Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I'm using a tea dye for this. Just very light. And while I'm inking, I want to ink this part. Because I don't really know, uh, love how this sort of uh, uh, fits with the background. So I'm just going to sort of have it stand out a bit. See, that looks so much better. So much better. So yeah, I'm going to ink the whole bit here. Let's do this side as well. And there you go. And then, um, well, while we're at it, just the whole perimeter of the belly band. Just all around. There you go. Ta-da. Done. I'm not going to ink this piece. No, 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 no. I'm going to I'm going to glue it down, of course, with uh, well, just normal glue stick. But what about this? Yes, I'm going to cover it. That's why I have um, wonderful washi tapes, and it's uh, uh, an opportunity you to use some washi tape. Oh, uh, honestly, guys, I don't know about you, but I I have a gazillion washi tapes. You probably have as well. And they're all pretty. Yes, I have boxes full of them. Uh, and I never use them. Is it because they're in boxes? No, it's not. Because at my previous desk, I had sort of a display on the wall where you could see all of them. And still, I didn't use them. Another bonus for flipping this over is that you, that you see like a, a sort of a decorative edge now, which is pretty. Yes. Okay. Uh, so this line, I'm just gonna, I'm going to do the easiest trick ever. I am just going to put a piece of washi over it, right? I'm not gonna even gonna put it to the end, just here, because pretty. Now, a couple of questions about washi. Does it really stick? And, you know, well, this is washi tape from AliExpress. So, I do not really trust the glue. That's okay. I'm just going to put some extra glue on. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Uh, oh, I can flip it over. Yes, because <laughs> this is going to be stuck down. Well... It's going to be on the journal page. Before I fold this in, I am going to let it dry really, really well. I love this. Isn't that great? I'm going to have a label on here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a label on here. Let's have a label on here. Speaking of labels, um, I also want to have a label here. Yeah, one of these. And flipping it over to the other side. Yep. All the labels that I'm using are all in the digital kit. Yes. And honestly, guys, uh, you don't what, need to use them uh, specifically for this kit. Print out the labels and then use them for every other. Don't fold it yet. Don't fold it yet. See? Looks lovely. Fantastic. Uh, we need to make two large cards. Uh, well, one card that goes in here and one that goes in here. Of course, I did not let it dry long enough. So I folded it, used my ruler, put it up against here, then folded it. Uh, but it's still a left sort of a wrinkle here. But I don't mind. It just it adds character. It just adds character. <laughs> so I made two strips. Um, one for a little card that goes inside here. I made them smaller because that'll be easier to fit in. Because this was like two and a half inches. Yes. So I made the card two inches and then the height. And uh, with this one as well, I just made it a little bit smaller. So these are just going to be the sort of backings for the card. Um, if you're just going to use uh, like normal copy paper, 
you won't be able to get it in, especially not in this long one. So I'm using this piece from the kit, the decorated sort of check. Love the lady on here. And I'm just going to, you know, glue her on here. I like so. Yep, uh, I'm going to put glue all over this piece. Oh, yeah. Again, you know, gluing goes much better without the cap on the glue stick. There we go. Um, we need this bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to line it up. And then I'm going to trim it afterwards. I will have a sort of a tap. I'm going to make a tap on the top so that you can sort of, uh, well, get it out there. <laughs> Fantastic. Paper trimmer. And does the job for this. There we go. Yep. Over here and over here. See? There you go. Doesn't need any more decorating. What you could do is just put something nice on the bottom here, like this. Number four. Just some decorating. Again, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to let it dry underneath my big dictionary, sort of encyclopedia, Le Petit La Rousse. Um, and also I'm going to do this one. I've chosen this piece. I think that'll look lovely. Yeah, I think so. I love the digitals. I love blue. It's very blue. <laughs> it's very blue. I... Uh, I'm curious how this would look in all pink. Oh, because, you know, also I love the pink. Am I going to do this by hand? I'm going to do it by hand. I'm going to be very adventurous. Snippy here. And here. Do we have a label for this that is this small? I think we do. I think we do. We have the number 12 label. Yes, I'm going to let them uh, dry, flatten out and ink all around them because uh, you do see a little bit of the white. But that's why they invented distress ink, right? Well, I believe so. So I'm going to let these dry and flatten out. Are we going to round corners? You told people you were not going to round corners. Well, I lied. <laughs> Uh, two reasons why I'm rhyming the corners. Uh, uh, corners. Uh, one of the reasons is pretty. Yeah, because of pretty. And the other reason is, uh, especially with this sort of pocket, it just slides in easier, in my opinion. I'll use a smaller size on this one. This is not really working now, is it, love? No. Flip this over, put it in. Yes. Well, that was a rubbish job. Luckily, luckily for me, I've used the smaller setting, like four. So I'm going to go in <laughs> with seven. To, you know, clean up the edges. <laughs> Tada! Looks much better. Now... Let them dry and flatten. And then let's make some tabs to put on here and here. So I went through my little tin with tabs. These are tabs that I've made using die cuts and um, a punch. And nothing in here really goes well with the blue. So I'm making new ones. I'm making new ones. I'm showing you my favorite uh, tab die. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. I bought it on AliExpress, but it's also available on Amazon. Google Crafts MK001. Yeah, love this one. Comes with three sizes, like the big one, the medium one, and the small one. And then it also has these sort of smaller thingies. Don't even know what's it's called. Hole reinforcers, whatever. Love them, love them, love them. Um, I want to use this paper. This was one of the tags. I cut this off because I really want to see what the size was. I thought to 
fold it over, but it's no need because you're gonna fold these over. Okay. Um, I am just going to glue it on the blue cardstock because I want them to be sturdy, right? Yeah, not like flimsy paper. So yeah, again, using digitals for something completely different than it's made for. This was supposed to be a tag. Well, it is not going to be a tag. No. These are going to be uh, tabs. Yeah. Going to make two small ones. Well, let's, let's make three small ones, love. And then a couple of these. Why not? I have the paper. I have the got the, the dies here. Why not? So I am uh, quickly going to run these through my die cut machine. So I have my tags. I inked all around them. They're almost really flat. And I made the tabs also inked around them. I still need to ink the top. But for that we need to sort of fold them in first. Of course. Yep. Uh, there we go. Here's one. I've chosen the smallest size, especially for this one. Over here. Will that look nice? Let's just see if it fits in here. Well, it should because we measured it. Yes. I'm going to use art for this. Um, if I can find it. There we go. Am I going to put it on the top in the middle? Where am I going to put it? Oh, I'm thinking I'm going to put it on the top. Not even in the middle. No, just here. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. There you go. And then the other one. I quickly checked the, the time, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a bonus project, yes. Because this is going to be a belly band. You could also have this as a pocket, of course. Um, but I want to put something underneath the belly band. So I want to make a something else. There you go. Well, let's see. This is going to go in here. Like so. There you go. Oh yeah, lovely. And then this is going to go on the top. And I think the lady will show up on the bottom. Oh yes, doesn't she look lovely with the sort of ivy here? Yeah. Um, let me show you how this will look um, in the journal. What page did we sort of... Yeah, this one. Oh, and then the, the tab is sticking out on the top as well. Bonus. Yes. You're going to glue it down here and up here. And then you can stick something underneath. Fantastic. It is already really lovely. Love it. What I want to make for underneath the belly band is something with these sort of file folders that came in the kit. It's one that has the tab on the, on the left and in the middle and on the right. And then this one. I want to attach these to one another. I backed the print with some sort of very neutral. And then this is the library card pocket. I'm not going to use this as a library card pocket. No, I want to make pockets on the front of the folders using this. Yeah, because why not? Um, I cut it all out. It already has this notch. I think the notch is going to be too big. So first off, I'm going to take a little bit of the top here to make this notch a little bit smaller. Well, not so deep. Like so. See, that works better for me. I'm also going to do that on the top. There you go. Now, let's start with this one. I just want to have a pocket on here. Like so. Not a very deep one. So, I'm just going to measure it. Where I'm going to cut it. Well, on this line. So, no, I'm not using this as a, a library card pocket thingy at all. No. Um, I think I have a circle punch that will punch this out. That we won't so the, see the white anymore. Hopefully. Hello. 
See? Yeah, it does. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to cut it. Let's say over here. Yeah. I just like this paper. I just like the background. There you go. Making another notchy in here. Yep. Then I'm going to cut these sides off because it's way too big. A little bit more because I do not want to see the sort of dotted line. There you go. And let's see. Let's have it. Well, let's have the red on here. Are we? Are we? Yeah, we're going to have the red on here. And then we're uh, left with another one. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So we can make four of these pockets. Out of one of these sheets. Yeah. Fairly easy, right? Yeah. No one. And let's see if this will work. And two. And rounding the corners on the bottom, I guess. Because, you know. My quarter rounder was out, so why not? And these also have rounded corners. I'm just looking for an excuse uh, why I'm using the corner rounder. There we go. Now, these are sort of plain, uh, so I will be decorating them with some of the labels. Let's see. Oh, I have another one. You have four, love. You have four. So I cut these all out and I already sort of inked all around them. Also going to ink all around the pockets. Now I'm just going to do one for now. And you know, I'm going to glue one on. Over here. In the middle. Are we going to do it in the middle? Yes, just in the middle. Using art for this. Oh, lovely paper in the back as well. We're not going to see any of this. Gluing it on three sides. I'm not making gussets in this or anything. Just uh, sort of more decorative pocket. Like so. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to ink all around these. And then glue them on all four pieces. They're on. I want to decorate them before I attach them to one another. Um, so I had some of the labels out. What I also did was... Uh, take out my circle punch and then I just punched a couple of these interesting bits because you know why not so I was thinking to put something here just you know a small collage on them not anything fancy smancy I am not using bits and bobs um, other than the ones that came in the kit Sometimes um, I uh, read in the comments, well, I don't have enough bits and bobs. If you have journal kits and scissors, you can make your own bits and bobs. Because, you know, it's bits and bobs now. I have this here. Yep. I could have inked these. Yes, you could have, would should have. But I didn't. So, so there. <laughs> I do want to cover up the, the sort of red line here with this big label. There you go. But I'm putting on the 12. It's so easy and it's so much fun. There you go. And the last one. Yes, this is upside down. I've noticed. That's okay. I'm just going to put stuff on it so you won't notice it anymore. I'm going to do the 12 again. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah, it's supposed to be a background, so. It's just paper, guys. It's just paper. Yep. So, there you go. 
all decorated, right? Yeah. Now we need to attach them to one another so we can sort of flip through them. I'm going to use tape for it. I think I think it will work. I don't know for sure, but I think it will work. I have them in the correct order. Uh, right, middle, left. And this is going to be the front. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put tape over here. Uh, I'm using the same tape again as I did on the inside of the belly band. There we go. I am again putting some extra glue on it. Is it in the middle? It is. There we go. It's a little bit too long. I need some small scissors. The next strip I'm going to make shorter. Because this will be sticky. There you go. There's not a mistake that a scissors or, <laughs> or a distress ink can fix. There we go. Okay, now I am going to um, tape these two together. Uh, be sure to have tape that is a little bit shorter. Putting more glue on it again. Yep. Did it move? It moved. Go back, go back, go back. Yes. So, we can fold these up. Yep. We can fold these up. Yes. And now we need to glue these two together. With another piece of tape. Make sure they're straight or sort of straight. Doesn't need to be perfect, lovies. No. It's called a junk journal. There you go. So, but now to reinforce it, I'm going to put tape all over this. The tape came from AliExpress. I don't have links. I'm sorry. But I did really, really love this tape. <laughs> So I bought a second set. There we go. Just a sort of, you know, we did some sort of binding trick. There you go. And now uh, we can flip through them. See? <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ta-da. So we have our flip-up belly band. Yes, that we can write in. And then we have something to uh, tuck underneath. So cool, right? Uh, it is all very, very heavy. <laughs> uh, realize it's, oh, it's really, really heavy. But that's okay. I'm going to use, use art glitter glue for this. I'm just going to glue um, on the back, uh, guys. Uh, just a strip on the top here. And on the bottom. See, and then positioning it sort of in the middle. You want it here? Yes, well, here. And flip it open, yeah. Because we need to glue these pieces down. Is it on the page? It is. Now, I'm really going to let it dry before I put um, this file folder flippy thingy uh, in. Um, because this is a little bit bulky, of course. And I do not want to this to flip up again. Yeah, there we go. It's so cute. Let's first look at the belly band. Yes, there is a flip up. Yep, you can flip this up. Just, you know, because it's cool. And then there's a little card in here that you can write on the back. Yep. And then this is beautiful lady in here. Uh, you can take out. Yeah, and then there's some more decorating on the back. Again, you can uh, journal on the back of the card if you want to. But you can also journal over here on the inside. Secret journal spot. Uh, it will sort of flip open. But that's okay. That's okay. Is it dry enough? Is it dry enough? Hopefully it is. And then we have the flippy thingy. There you go. Flippy. Put stuff in. 
do something here whatever you wish it is just the coolest and then you put this in here like so with all the tabs i love it i absolutely love it Ta-da! done of course i wasn't finished i added a 12 and i added this sort of ornamental label thingy because i thought it looked a little bit boring and this is the first piece that you see when you open it up and see the project yes let me do a quick sort of flip through we just did it but hey uh you can uh, flip this up yes and do some more decorating there's a small card in here that really corresponds well with this one and then you can journal on the back then there's this beautiful window with a lovely lady in it another journal card you can take this out and again a journal on the back or you know whatever you want open it up lots of journal space space with an extra added wrinkle because you know pretty <laughs> and then we made very quickly very very simple this file folder flippy thingy with pockets yeah love it love it love it you can decorate on the backs and such now i had it as a i have it as a belly band which means it is in the middle and you can stick something underneath and it will stick out on both sides but you can also have this as a pocket on the edge of a page yeah that flips open so either or whatever you want guys that's it for today Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you could craft along. Um, if you're not uh, into digitals, you can use any sort of paper you want. And you can make this with any other digital that you like. Maybe you want a Christmassy one or what have you. I need to thank Davidica Designs for this beautiful kit. Thank you for making it for us. I love it. And thank you for sending it to me uh, to have a play with. Her shop and Instagram will be linked below. Go check her out. She's very affordable and I appreciate that. Guys, I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. I'm thinking about making a big master board uh, and cutting it up to make tags and journal cards and oh, pockets and what have you. So I'll be back again tomorrow. There's a link here now that says uh, go check out yesterday's video. Go check it out. Uh, my um, uh, freebie is in there and my digital kit is in there. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.